Here we go, market basket. Uh, we're going to take a quick look inside. Uh, I came in for just a few items. I ended up spending $74, but, you know, 20 of that was the laundry detergent, the Tide, and uh, something like uh, 12 was a oven roast. Um, so, really, I've ended up, if I take out those two items, I spent more like 30 or 40 dollars I guess um, oh look at this potato sticks I haven't had any of them since I was like a kid I think I'm gonna get some of those just to try five for three dollars I don't think I can get it five of them and here's some of the items here too yeah let's get it I did try them in there Fairly unremarkable. <laughs> Basically, a a chip formed like a you know a strip harder and shorter, whatever. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So my mission here was oh look at this. They have this huge pallet of distilled water. I'm sure they're doing this to show uh, that they have stuff. There's been a shortage of distilled water lately. Well, it certainly isn't in this store. Uh, and, you know, if you have sleep apnea like I do, you're supposed to use distilled water in your machine. There are other things people use it for. Some people will use it to mix a baby formula with. Oh, here's some kind of uh, expensive breakfast. I was, I'm hungry, too, of course. <laughs> Let's look around. Oh, here's our little, uh, you know, meals that are prepared already. Oh, here's the little sandwiches like at my grocery store. <coughs> Let's take a look. Uh, they're usually $2.99 for the seafood salad. Uh, so this is $2.49. Uh, Save 50 cents. But later I find when trying them, I don't know, they just, they don't have enough of the uh, filling, the, you know, imitation crab meat salad that's that's in them. So maybe that's why it's cost less. I usually find that, you know, people, a lot of people who shop in uh, the store market basket think they're saving tons of money. But I honestly find that prices comparable to, you know, other prices in other stores. Uh, you know, I'm sure if you get more familiar with the store, you can shop the sales. Now, here's something that was cheaper. Uh, six hot crust buns. They're $4.99. I think they were $5.99 last time I bought them. So we're going to grab that. Uh, my wife loves those for... Uh, Ah, where'd I go? There I am. Uh, love some for, you know, breakfast. And uh, let's look along here. Two, I want to get some bacon, some tomatoes. Uh, I've got the lettuce, but I'm going to be making homemade rolls in the bread machine. You run it on the dough cycle, which is two hours, and you take it out uh, and... Uh, you know, shape it into rolls, and then let it rise again and cook. That, everybody should have a bread machine just for, you can make all the rolls you want to, and, you know, bread is getting fairly expensive now. At one time, you could say that it wasn't worth making because of the labor, the cost of the machine, or whatever, but as prices go up, especially if you want rolls, it, it becomes more attractive in price. And, you know, I've got a Super Duper Zerichu uh, machine, bread machine, but any even used bread machine will work because you're not going to cook it in it. You're going to, oh, here's some potatoes on sale. Uh, you're going to use it for that first rise and take it out and shape it. Uh, that way the texture comes out right. S with machines with a single paddle that make a more vertical loaf there's a huge texture difference between the top of the loaf and the bottom of the loaf now with the rosetsu it's turned 
So it's a two paddle machine. So it, it closer to cooking it in a regular oven. But like I say, you can use the single paddle machines. Just take the dough out, learn how to shape them into rolls. That isn't that hard. And uh, uh, you'll be all set. Look at these leeks. Uh, they usually have uh, decent looking produce here. And uh, I have a feeling they must they must have just freshly stocked some of this area. Um, I'm going in, what is this, first thing uh, Tuesday morning. Oh, there's some empty spaces. So, with Market Basket, I guess you're going to say that you seem to get a diff greater diversity of products. In other words, if you're looking at a particular item, uh, say uh, carrots, you might find more different styles of carrots. That probably isn't a good example. But certain things like, let's try something like soap. You're going to find more different varieties. In the mushroom department where I always look, they have uh, different things than the ro regular supermarket carries. So you get this variety. And here are the Cortland apples. And I'm going to be getting them because uh, I'm a Knight of Columbus and we're having these fish meals during Lent to raise money for charities. And uh, rather than participate in the event with labor, I make I'm making two pies and uh, donating them. And uh, you can always use pie. They've, they're doing very good in attendance with it. Uh, yeah, one year the Knights of Columbus raised, this is nationwide, $17 million that went to different charities. Here we have bananas. <coughs> Uh, we usually, I, sometimes I'll get two bunches of bananas. I'll get a greener bunch and a yellower bunch. And that way, the green ones are ready by the time the yellow ones are used up. But they only have the yellow ones here, which is kind of odd. But we're going to get some anyway. 49 cents, that's the price they are everywhere. Uh My wife wanted me to get some different fruits, but boy, the citrus are uh, expensive. I'm going to look down around here. Ah, they have some peaches. I think peaches are going to be what we get. Oh, I'm being drawn over to the mushroom area. You can see they have larger loose mushrooms and they have all kinds of packaged mushrooms. So, like I say, in the packages, there's a lot of different types that you normally, there's oyster mushrooms, uh, you normally don't see in the store. They say that if you take a package of these oyster mushrooms, I'm going to have to try it. They're so aggressive at growing, you can uh, take them and uh, grow them right from a package that's in the supermarket. I'll have to try that and see. Uh, let's see. So, I can't wait for mushroom forage season to start, hopefully start, I should say. Last year, we kind of got, the spring was a total washout. Ah, well, these peaches. <laughs> these peaches. I must be, uh, not realizing I had the camera turned. <laughs> there. Picture. Beautiful picture of the floor. Oh, here's Tide. So, 25 washes plus for $20. So, that means it's costing almost a dollar a wash. And we were using other brands, and then it just seemed like Tide was working better. So, we went back to Tide. And uh, here I'm getting an Ovenos for $3.99. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the smallest ones since there's only three of us. Um, 
and cook that. But, uh, and I don't know how to describe it too, but they, they have a good selection of meats. Uh, this, their meat section looks way better than like the other box store like Walmart. And, uh, that's a, I did find some, with well, the meats were all priced, but I did find items in the store that didn't have a price on them, which really frustrates me because you go and you're thinking of getting something and I couldn't find the price. Usually the price is mounted up above like this. Of course, with the meats, it's on every package because they have to be weighed. But some of the other things I looked at, uh, I just couldn't find the price for. And like I say, I think... You know, I generally go to one store and do all my shopping there because I have, you know, issues with walking, uh, you know, pain and things like that. So it's usually not worth it for me to go to two different stores just to save some money. I will, you know, I'll get what I need to get or what they have on special or something. And then out I go. They had, it's kind of amazing. They had some chicken and they had some meat that was cut up smaller for stir fry it said and boy did that add uh money to the price you're basically paying for someone to slice it up and uh uh significant uh amount of labor i've been thinking about recently i have the uh grinding attachment for my kitchen aid mixer i got it at a yard sale and i'm thinking I might try making my own, uh, you know, ground meat like turkey and pork. And uh, uh, those are usually higher when you, they are there. But there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to make make that myself with a, uh, you know, when I get a lower cut price on sale. Uh, market basket. Plastic bags. Oh, no, this is the bacon. I'm looking at the bacon, the quick, the already cooked bacon. The trouble with some of these is they're, the slices are wicked thin, and you're actually paying, if you look at the unit price, you're paying $30 a pound for that bacon that's in the, a package like that. But, you know, the certain advantage is that you could, you know, you can take that with you. Say you, you could throw it in your backpack and basically... You know, once you open it up, you're going to probably end up using it within that day or so. So it's not going to run into that much problems with... They are supposed to be refrigerated after they're open. And here I'm looking at uh, the ground meats, but I decide that there's nothing special there as far as pricing. Uh, you can see there's practically no one in the store because I'm in here... At, it's approximately 7.30 in the morning. And, uh, you know, most people have something better to do. Tilapia. Uh, you know, tilapia is funny. If you don't like fish, try that because it's the less fishy fish. Barramundi. I've heard so much about this on, you know, shows that have done things in Australia. I've got to try that. Uh, I'm not saying that's where that is from, but, uh, you know, the... They definitely, uh, it's a big fish in Australia. It probably isn't from Australia because I'll tell you, getting shipping costs from Australia are unbelievable. I'd wanted to get a book about plants written by, written by Les Hidden, who's called the Bush Tucker Man. And the, the shipping was going to be way more than the book costs. So I didn't do it. So but continuing on. Oh, here's some uh prepackaged like meats and cheeses and things. I'm just kind of looking at them again. And uh, this, I've mentioned this before, I think, but there are, of course, they're different size market baskets. Now, this one's a smaller than, we've got one in Bitterford that's much bigger than this one, 
I think. And uh, I didn't like shopping there at all because it was too big. And also, oh, milk. Also, if you forget something, like I often do, walking back to the other side of the store is like a really long time if you hurt. So this market basket I can shop in. This is Rock Road. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's Westbrook, not Portland. But uh, this one's small enough so I can still, uh, if I forget something, it's not a pain to go back. I usually have a shopping list on my uh, phone, which I can't look at right now because I'm filming with my phone. <laughs> but they certainly do have a great variety of things here. Uh, pepperoni. Oh, here's bacon. And you know, I was looking for the prices with the bacon. I didn't see it, but I'm going to get it anyway. I got the thicker, thicker sliced uh, bacon. Well, here's an amazing shot of my bags I brought in. Okay, yeah, uh, here's the bacon, and I, I just don't see the price tag anywhere. Sometimes it's on the edge of the counter, you know, the or the freezing container or refrigeration thing that it's on, but I don't see it. They've got one price up there, but it isn't. It isn't for the bacon, so I'm just going to grab one. I'm going to go for the thicker slice. Uh, I watched some of these videos about cooking bacon batter, which includes cooking them, having water in the pan when you start them, uh, which is kind of interesting, which is actually what I, what I do with pepperoni, but uh, I don't know, that... It was an extra step for that, not that much more benefit. Here's my pie crust I'm going to get. Uh, now, I should have got the no brand. I didn't I didn't think of that, the market basket brand, when I was over there. Or maybe they didn't have it, I don't know. Butter. Pound of unsalted butter, uh, three ninety nine. so it's like a dollar a stick, which is uh, quite a bit. Normally, we don't. I don't buy butter butter, I buy margarine, but sometimes for cooking and different things, I want to really get the butter. So there it goes. Well, it's going to go into my card in a minute. I'm still looking at different ones. Uh, yeah, come on, pick it up, pick it up, come on. We're in a hurry here. We want to get our shopping done. We're starting to hurt. Okay, we got it. See all the different butters, uh, tub butters, soft butters, different brands of margarine. Well, we're coming down the home stretch here. Oh, uh, my wife likes the uh, uh, chocolate almond type milk things or soy things. Uh, and there we go. 